Hello everyone, what is going on? My name's Anubi Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. Uh, earlier today, you probably saw a video um, where I reacted to EXO's Ooh La La La. I did a lyric breakdown, uh, just followed a line uh, video. And the reason I did that is actually because I was going to record this EXO dance practice, but then... I heard the first 30 seconds and I was like, this is a song that deserves its own video. I don't want to take any shine away from the song because I really liked how it was sounding at the first 30 seconds. So I've seen 30 seconds of this dance practice, um, but then I paused it, actually 33 seconds, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, 33 seconds, then I paused it and I was like, this doesn't feel right, I need to listen to the song first. So I did that video and now that I've heard the song, now I can go back and do the dance practice. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> this opening is ridiculously confident. One thing I'm going to be looking for, um, and I already see it, and that's why I'm, I mention it now, is... When I was reacting to the song, one of my favorite things about it is how in the song, the lyrics are, it's like the story, right, of this guy who is going to approach a girl, um, and, or at least in the context of the song, it seems like it's a girl based on how they're talking to her. Um, it doesn't explicitly say, but I would assume, um, but anyway, so it's, it's, it's a guy who's approaching a girl, and it's like him being all confident and trying to like come on to her and like trying to get her attention but then when he finally works up the courage to go t like he's going to go talk to her he has that moment that us males and those of you brave females who approach males as well <laughs> or or uh thank you bless you um but that us males in particular, who generally in most societies have the responsibility of approaching a girl they like and talking to them first, right? In most cultures, not every. Um, but so he has that moment of like the butterflies in your stomach and he's like, wait, should I actually approach her? What should I say? And what's cool is the music changes, the beat changes, and the tone of the vocals is less um, full. So it gives, like, he's almost, like, whimpering it. Not, like, whimpering like it sounds bad, but it's much less strong vocals. Like, his tone is purposefully worse, technically, when he's singing those lyrics. And then the beat comes back in as he approaches her, and he's like, no, she's walking away, but I think she's walking away looking at me over her shoulder, so I want to go talk to her. So anyway, and the whole thing resolves with them together. Um, and then the beat cuts out at the end, and it's the same... But the vocals are confident this time, so it's like a quiet moment when they're happy together. Anyway, cool song. I really love the storytelling element of it. Um, and uh, But this, what I was going to say is, what I'm looking for is to see if the choreo matches the parts of the song, now that I've heard the song and know the lyrics and like what's going on with the story. So like he came in, they came in super confident. That's why I thought of that. Cause this is like, yeah, see, lots of like, yo, look at me, girl, trying to get your attention. You know what I mean? I'm curious if they keep that on the bit where it's hesitant. That's cool. La la. Ooh. Ooh, come here. See, like, it's like... That'd be so cool if this mirrors the story of the lyrics. Yo. They're so precise. Yeah. Tell me. 
Ooh, see, and this is where it gets the most confident. As you're going to, like, you're trying to build the courage, talk yourself. See, he's backing up. Cool. See, like, the confidence is a little bit less here. That's so cool. They did do it. That's what I was hoping they would do. Oh wait, no, this is the part, we'll see. See, they're all back. Nobody's in front. Because they're so hesitant. See? Okay, okay, this is what I was talking about. So, like, notice on this bit, where the song cuts, where the bass cuts, it's like, they're all standing back. They've had somebody in the front the whole time trying to get this girl's attention, right? And then, look at how they're all like, I don't know, kind of just hanging out back here. And then these two guys are like looking at each other. And they're like, hey, go talk to her, man. Like, it's like he's talking to himself. And then as the bass drops, he gets his confidence back and walks up to the front again. And the movements get more aggressive again. Oh, it's so cool. and confident in the front again. Oh, this is sick. This is so good. They literally did that perfectly. I could not have imagined them doing that concept better after, like, the lyrics tell the story, musically it tells the story, and then the choreo, not only is the choreo insanely good and coordinated and sharp and perfect because it's EXO, but they... The, they tell the story uh, like he's a pro it's like the fit it's like the body language when you're out and you're going to approach the girl like he's hanging out back with his friend or maybe it was supposed to be like he's looking at himself like do i approach her dude like he had the like little elbow movement like hey go 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 she's walking away and then he comes back up to the front and the choreo gets aggressive and sharper again that's so cool actually we're so good Guys, thank you so much for requesting more EXO dance practices. I'm gonna do the rest of the ones I can find. I don't know how many there are. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've already done Electric Kiss and Blooming Day. So I will do whichever other ones I can find. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. Stay newbie.